Hey, what's up guys? Alex here again with another 3D model using Google SketchUp. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about the sun's movements during uh, the seasons. And so I've made this nice little 3D model using Gleason's 1892 New Standard Map of the World. Um, and so, as always, according to Vedic Cosmology, I have the sun highest in altitude during summer, lowest in altitude during winter. And then, of course, as we know, uh, the sun is over the Tropic of Capricorn in the 23rd degree north parallel during summer and uh, over the equator during equinox and the 23, 23rd degree south parallel during uh, winter over the Tropic of Capricorn. And as always, Polaris up here and the North Pole down here are magnetic north and magnetic south with our magnetic uh, objects magnetically levitating in their orbit respectively. And so let's go ahead and get on with this animation. All right. So uh, as you can see, the the summer sun. I'm sorry, I couldn't get this to move with it. I don't know why I couldn't, but uh, the summer sun moves a lot slower than the winter sun. And the reason for that is because I mentioned this in the last video of how much room, how much ground it has to cover. And so. Oh, I gotta pause this. I learned that I need to pause this in order to get it. There we go. Uh, and so the sun moves. Maybe I can get these. Oh, there we go. And so the sun moves a lot faster during winter and slightly faster during the equinoxes because of how much ground it has to cover. And as you can see here plainly, in order for the sun to traverse an entire uh, that much landmass in one hour. Uh, it would have to be moving substantially faster uh, than in summer. And so yeah, this is my little 3D model that I made. I wasn't going to make a full 5 minute video, I just wanted to make a quick little 2.5 minute video so you guys could see, uh, uh, could see how this looks. Now, these are all individual days. Um, this, doesn't, this doesn't represent a week or a month or a year. It just represents how they look individually in each 24 hour day. Now, in reality, if we were making a full year here, uh, which I'm going to try to do, uh, we would have it winding down and slowly moving lower and wider and faster and then back up uh, tighter and slower, slower and, uh, and higher. And so, yeah, that's my little 3D model. Hope you guys liked it. Have a good day.